This is Sunset Point. Hi, welcome. Today, Pat and I are in scenic Colorado and are about to explore the fascinating Black Canyon of the Gunnison River. Leaving Route 50 near Montrose, we explore the Black Canyon National Park, the East Portal, Cimarron Canyon, and the Cucanti Needle section of the canyon. The Black Canyon of the Gunnison's unique and spectacular landscape was formed slowly by the action of water and rock scouring down through hard Precambrian, metamorphic and igneous crystalline rock. The Black Canyon is so deep and narrow that little sunlight reaches the bottom, making the walls look black. Hence the name Black Canyon. The river drops an average of 96 feet per mile in the National Park. One section, it drops 480 feet in a two mile stretch. In comparison, the Colorado River drops seven and a half feet per mile as it flows through the Grand Canyon, Arizona. In just 48 miles in the Black Canyon, the Gunnison River loses more elevation than the 1,500 mile Mississippi River does from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. Untamed, the river slams through the gorge in flood stage at 12,000 cubic feet per second with 2.75 million horsepower force, dramatically scouring the riverbed and eroding the canyon walls. At one point, the gorge is 2,772 feet deep and at its narrowest point, 40 feet wide at river level. Geologists believe that the modern Gunnison River became established in its current course about 10 to 15 million years ago. Eroding at the rate of about one inch per hundred years or the width of a human hair per year, Gunnison slowly worked its way through the resistant rock forming the narrow steep-sided canyon we see today. Humans have been around for about 200,000 years. During this time, the canyon would have eroded 166 feet. Black Canyon of the Gunnison River is a geological wonder. Its difficult and rugged nature 
has been a challenge to human influence since prehistoric times. Only the canyon rims, never the inner canyon, show any evidence of human occupation. Some prehistoric sites suggest human use over 9,000 years ago. The Ute tribe of Native Americans traveled seasonally to the rims of the canyon. They referred to the river as much rocks big waters. Never venturing into the dark inner canyon which was deemed bad medicine. How did the Gunnison River get its name? The first official account of the Black Canyon was provided by John William Gunnison during an expedition in 1853. He described the country to be the roughest and the most hilly and the most cut up he'd ever seen. Following his death at the hands of the Ute Indians, the river that Captain Gunnison had called the Grand was renamed the Gunnison in his honour. Onward to the East Portal. When the park was established in 1933, the Gunnison River was free-flowing, a free river as it slammed through the 48-mile length river of the Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Between 1965 and 1976, three dams were built upstream of the National Park section of the Black Canyon. Onward to the Cimarron section of the Black Canyon. Crossing Mesa Creek, we explore the short trail which leads to splendid views of the Gunnison River Crystal Reservoir, formed by the Crystal Dam, which is situated in the East Portal section of the river. Onward to the Morrow Dam section of the Black Canyon. Morrow Dam is the second of the three dams upstream from the National Park. It creates the stunning 12 mile long Morrow Reservoir section of the Gunnison River, terminating at the third Blue Mesa Dam. Global warming is a threat to the whole world. The Gunnison River dams produce clean, renewable energy. The potential energy of the dam water is transferred into kinetic energy 
driving turbines, which in turn produce clean, renewable electric energy. Hydroelectricity. Man harnessing nature, not destroying it. The beauty and splendor of this unique corner of Colorado will live on in our memories always.